All right, girl. I am smiling way too hard for 8 a.m. right now. What is happening? What well, might be happening? Hopefully, so I don't have to hear about it anymore. We're finally getting a boat. For the past, I want to say, like, what, has it been two months or three months? Maybe closer to three? I, I don't know. I feel like you started thinking about it in February, and then in March you were just like... Dead set. I've been wanting to get a boat for so long. I mean, we live here on a lake, obviously, that's an excuse to have a boat, right? And everybody always says that the best day of a boat owner's life is the day he buys it, the day he sells it. So we'll see if that holds true. But I've just, I've been wanting a boat. I want to be able to enjoy the lake with her and our friends. And more importantly, with these guys, Coda needs to be able to get to the island. There are so many things that we need to do. <laughs> there are so many things that we can do with a boat. We could put a grill on it and like, you know, grill out out there, have dinner out there and stuff like that. I've just, I've wanted one so bad, but I haven't wanted, like this is going to be my first boat I've ever owned, so I haven't wanted to like really jump in because boat prices can get pretty crazy and stuff. So I didn't want to get something super crazy. I wanted to find something like nice and respectable, but also kind of conservative in a way, I guess. And I think we found it. We've got an hour to drive. We're going to go check it out. It's a used 2016 Bennington Tritune with a 115 motor on it. So it's going to have some space to stretch out, but it's also going to be fast. So Coop's hair is going to be able to blow in the wind. It's going to be great. So we're going to go check this thing out. The guy's moving and he wants to sell it quickly. So obviously that gives me an opportunity to kind of barter a little bit. We'll see if we can make something happen. Let's get it. I don't know how much I'm going to record of like the deal and stuff, obviously because that's a little bit weird, but we're meeting at a CVS here just to like meet up and then he has it in a storage place a mile or so away. He just said the CVS was gonna be easier to find, but I've got something funny to show you guys here. So I was giving him the ETA and then now when we're about to meet up, he says that he's in a big black Jeep and I'm in a big blue Jeep. How perfect is that? Oh my goodness. We're in a big blue Jeep picking up a big blue boat. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just so excited. We did it. There she is right there. The big blue Bennington. We did it. We the got a deal. We are on the way to Chase to get a certified check. And then we're going to be going to the title place because he's going to sign over the title to me. And we've got a boat. We can take the boys on the boat. I'm so excited. I'm not going to be on this camera for more than about 10 seconds. Oh my gosh. Look at that big thing behind us. And we got it. We're going to get it back to the house and give you guys a nice little like look at it. We're going to clean it up get it in the water. I uh, I don't know, we, we might have to wait till tomorrow to record like getting the boys on it and going out to the island and stuff. We'll see what happens, but uh, I'm so excited. This is insane. By far the biggest thing I've ever towed before. I mean, that was a big load behind me, kind of kind of like back here, you know what I mean? But uh, no, it was, it was a little bit scary, but it wasn't too bad. And here she is. Oh my gosh, guys, this is so insane. Look at this, Bennington. I've done a lot of research over these things for the past like three months or so and Bennington is like a very, very good, very reputable brand. The Yamaha outboards, four stroke outboards are some of the best you can get as well. So overall, this is a super solid boat. If we come up the ladder here, we can go ahead and open this up. You coming up, my dear. Your chariot awaits. Oh my gosh, look at this. So really the only thing that isn't essentially new on it is he hit a twig the other day and it tore this open. So we have to get that patched up. But apart from that, besides like basic wear, I mean, there's some like sand and stuff on it. We're going to clean it off and it's essentially going to be brand new. And we got it for way, 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 way less than we would have paid if we did buy it new. So here's like the captain's chair and stuff. I'm going to be chilling like this. We've got a marine radio, four speakers. I think I want to have more speakers added in and then maybe a subwoofer like over there somewhere. I think I'm going to get some like lights underneath it and stuff. But we got plenty of space for the dogs. Look at this. We've got a little spot where Kubi can jump off. Oh, God. We're going to have to have like a custom made ramp for him to be able to get himself back up. Yeah, it comes with a no ladder, we're lifting him back onto the boat. but I, I, I'm worried about that. So we'll yeah, see what happens with that. Numbers. But yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm envisioning Coda just like sitting up here, his hair blowing in the wind, just yeah, loving life. Right. You're driving the boat, Coda's going to be... Drooling all over the place. It's going to be insane. All right. So 
We've spent all morning doing this. I still have to get some work done. I'm gonna go inside and get some work done. She's gonna work on cleaning up the boat a little bit. We're hoping to be able to put it in tonight so we might give you guys like a first look. And then tomorrow we can actually be outside and be in the sun and bring the boys on it. That's when we're gonna bring the boys out. So we'll see what happens next. See you guys there. Day two. What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of a Super Cooper Sunday. <laughs> How excited are we? What's up, Coda? What's up, Coop? Oh my gosh. I bet you guys didn't think that was coming. I know I didn't do it at the start of this video, but uh, today is gonna be a glorious day. Coop, what's happening today? Can you tell the people? Because I kind of feel like you know what's going on. We just went out and unwrapped it out there. We just went out and took the cover off the boat today. We are gonna be taking Cooper and Coda sailing on the pontoon for the first time ever. Captain Coop, where you at? Come here, come on. Sit, good boy. <laughs> I've never seen her this excited about a hat before. Good boy. Oh, it doesn't really fit. But we'll, oh my God, that is so cute. That is so perfect. Nope, 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 nope. It's not, it kind of looks like a Frisbee, I guess. I wanna keep this nice. Thank you, Michael and Abby. I need to adjust the back because I've got a really big head, but uh, they got me this. They got me the captain's hat and a shirt. The captain is always right, so make sure you keep that in mind. Keep that in mind today. Coop is the captain today, but I can't wait. This is gonna be so much fun. We've been talking about this for so long. Today, it's finally happening. <laughs> I think it's worth saying that we haven't said a thing. No. We put all the stuff out in the boat. Last night we wouldn't let him down there. He hasn't seen it. Yeah, neither one of them have seen it. We wanted to keep it like all fresh and like first time for you guys. We haven't said a word. We came back up here and he's hyped. And the entire time that Trevor was sitting on the boat, Koto was crying. What do you want? Tell us what you want. What do you want? You wanna go swimming? That's what you want? Don't say that or you're gonna have a wet dog. So you wanna go out in the lake? Huh? All right, I need you to calm down because I don't want nails tearing up the seats and the floor and everything like that, Cooper. Oh, wait, can we get towels? Yes. I, what's the... Yes, absolutely, 100%. Good boy. I just need you to calm down, all right? I'm going to open this up and we're going to be calm. We're going to go potty. We're going to get it out of us. Cooper, no. No. Go potty. Go potty. I know this is exciting. I'm just about as excited as you are. Go potty. Come on. Good boy. Let's just relax, Cooper. <laughs> I don't know how he knows. He's never been on a boat before. But it's like he knows it's coming. I guess Coda does too. Look at him. Just waiting on the edge of the dock for us. Kubi, go potty. Make sure you don't gotta go. Especially you, Coda. I don't want any scared peas on the boat. Oh. Definitely don't want any of that on the boat either. Coda! Come here. Go potty. I swear, it's like pulling teeth just to go potty. I don't understand. Let's do it. Oh Cooper? God, God. Cooper? Oh, he's already looking at it. He's like, what is this? Cooper, don't jump. No swimming. All right, I'm just hoping that Coda doesn't really realize that this isn't another part of the dock. Let's go ahead and open this up. Coopy, wait. Coop, come here. Come on, Good boy. Come what is this, Coop? Good boy. <laughs> Gotta get your sea legs. Come on, Coda. Coda, come on. Come on. Come on. Kubi, come here. Oh no, Kubi scared him off. Hold on. Maybe if we try the front. Coda, come here. Come here, buddy. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. Come on, step down here. Come on. You got this. You got this. I got you. I'm here for you. No? Come on. He can see the water in between the. He's running away. <laughs> Plan B. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> he tried. He tried. Aww. Good boy. I don't really want to like pick him up and force him on there because I want him to want it. Well, think about think about how scary the stairs are. It's all right. Good boy, Coda. Look at that big old baby. Kubi, Kubi. He's wagging his tail. He wagged his tail like two times. So, 
When we were looking at boats, Kobe, you need to let me talk. I need to talk to the people. When we were looking at boats, one of the salesmen that we had talked to was like, they're great if you guys ever wanna have kids because you can just kind of close the, the gates and you corral them in and they don't really have a way to get out. And we were like, that's perfect for our dogs. Yeah. So now Koda, I mean, he's stuck in here. I'm nervous. I just don't want like a freak out, jump over the side, tear up the everything, be in the water, fall over, that sort of thing. Hopefully we can just kind of get him to like lay down and chill. Yeah. We're gonna launch this thing. I'm gonna give you the camera. It's gonna be your, your job to get all the reactions. And uh, good boy. You like it on here? Lots of smells to sniff. Koda. Oh, he wants to be the captain. Dude. Koda, come here. Koda, come here. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, she's cool. Koda seems okay with it, like, rocking and rolling so far. So hopefully that means that he's... I mean, he's got his legs... He's got a wide stance, but he's okay with it. Koda, are you a boat dog? That's nice, boys. Two sitting boys. Good boys. Koopy. Cooper, he just wants out because you are out, I think. I hope. Good job, buddy. Dakota, sit. Oh, that's not your name, <laughs> silly dog. He likes it so far, he's very happy. Good boy, Coda. Good boy. He's looking the wrong direction in which we're going. And he's just having the time of his life. I know. Coop, come here. Cooper, come. He's so happy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at his ears. Look at this gorgeous girl piloting the pontoon on the open waters. Coop, what do you think, buddy? Oh my gosh, this is so cool, huh, dude? Do you like it a lot? His tail is going so fast. I'm so excited for this summer. This is going to be amazing, dude. We're going to have to have so many videos. Coda, come here. Hey, Coda. Coda. Coda, Coda, where where are you going? Coda, what are you doing? You're just looking behind? Coda's a little bit more timid. He keeps wanting to sit down. He's not a wild child. Yeah. Coda, come here. Hey. He's gotta think about every movement, every turn, everything that he does. Good boy, Coda. Coda really loves car rides. Yeah, this is kind of like a car ride. Except that like the water's not gonna get him. I bet he's gonna love it. Absolutely. Good boy, Coop. Good boy, Coda. What do you think? What do you think, buddy? I don't want to alarm you guys, but we may have a happy and content dog on the water. This is kind of crazy. Look at this. He just laid down all by himself. He's just hanging out. I can't tell if this is like a. Okay, it's a pretty comfortable. I, I didn't know if it was a comfortable lay down or like a oh my god, everything's moving, get down to the ground, but he looks comfy. Good boy. I'm proud of you, Coda. <laughs> you know, I think we're doing a good job showing him the finer things in life. I think this is uh, this is exactly what he needed. I don't mean to alarm you guys, but I think we have two happy and content dogs, one of which has finally kind of settled down a little bit. Home is all the way on the opposite side. We're pretty much on the other side of the lake now. He finally settled down. Good boy, Coop. We aren't trying to run around and jump off and stuff. We're gonna we're gonna park it at the island. We haven't done that yet. I've never done like a dry docking yet, so we'll we'll see what happens there. But we're gonna park it at the island. We'll let you swim a little bit before we get done. But this is amazing. I think we've got a boy who kind of needs some shade. Look at him down here. Good boy, Koda. Are you getting a little hot? That's all right. Another great part about this boat is we have this bimini top that just kind of folds up. So let's put that up. And just like that, we have a nice shady place for the boys. I know you guys are getting hot. I see a lot of drool coming out and stuff. We have water for him. We just gave him some. We're probably going to give him some more in a minute. It is a little bit hot out here. I feel like Chelsea had said that this is probably a little bit more of like a a spring, dog barge. spring, <laughs> fall, winter dog barge, but I mean, we can put up some shade and bring a lot of water out. It's just, it is, it's very scorchingly hot out here in Florida. 
So uh, we're gonna go ahead and cruise around a little bit more, just kind of enjoy it, listen to some music, hang out with the boys, and I think we're gonna try putting this thing on the island, get code out on the island for the first time, and uh, it should be good. Koopy's ready. Land ho, Koopy! Stay. I know, I just saw a big clump. This will be it for every morning before the sun comes up and it gets too hot, let's just take them out here. And Do you shed? Do you think you know where we're going? Do you think you know? That there it is. I don't really know what to do now. Can you make sure the engine's trimmed up all the way? Just push up a little bit. It's out of the water, is that good? Yeah, that's good. I did it, guys! Boom, look at that. First time. The captain is always right. Isn't that right, Coop? Right. Okay, let him out, please. Come on, boys. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Oh, jeez. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Come on, Coda. Come on. Hey, good boy! First time on the island. Should we get leashes so we don't get burrs? Yeah, Cooper, Cooper, come here. Here, stay, sit. Here, trade stay. me. I'll get the... I'll get the goods. So if you guys Coda's remember, look at Coda. when we came here with um, with Cooper last on the jet skis, he had all those like little sticky burr things in him from all the plants. Hey, Coda, stop drinking the water. Hey, 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 we have water for you. You don't need to drink the nasty lake water. Um, he had burrs all over him, so we brought leashes this time, so they won't have to be picked off. Dakota, Dakota we have water for you. Come here, Coda. Hey. hey. Dakota. Oh my gosh. Coda. His life is literally a constant search for water to drink and to swim oh yeah look that look that water water love love water we got water here buddy hey he has been getting his pills you guys know he has diabetes insipidus which means he has a hormone in his brain off that it never tells him that he's satisfied for thirst so he always thinks he's thirsty he has pills to help out with that some days are better than others Coop's pooping in a bush. He's pooping in the burp. Oh no, are you serious? Cooper, come here. Let's get you leashed up before it gets worse. All right, Coda, let's go check out the island, bud. Here we go. There's lots of plants to sniff. Come on, let's try to stay out of the burrs, though. We gotta go explore. Coop's already seen all this. Come on, come on. <laughs> I thought he was being. Look at this. How cool is this? A giant open field, all kinds of lizards to chase. Look at the lizards. What do you think? So many smells to sniff. Never been to this part of the world before, huh, buddy? There's a fire pit. Walked right through the fire pit. Yeah, now we're gonna have ashy paws for the boat. That's perfect. I don't know if we wanna go all the way back there, buddy. It gets a little bit overgrown. Come on. Oh, there's there's dog poop here. That's not yours, is it? Oh. Oh, okay. Well. Joining the legion of dogs who have pooed on the island. Right under the tree. We finally got you here. I told you I was going to make it happen eventually. I know you didn't want to take the kayak. I know you didn't want to take the jet ski or the float or anything like that. But we made it happen. So, Koda, come here. Koda. Was it everything it was cracked up to be? Come here, buddy. What do you think, buddy? Do you like it? Is it fun? Do we want to come back here in the fall maybe when it's a little bit less hot? You know Probably. we could meet out here. Zeus. We could meet Zeusie. The next door neighbor. That's his best friend. Yeah, we could come out here on all of our boats and... You probably won't swim with them, but you could watch them from here. <laughs> He'd be the creeper. Like, everybody else is swimming, having a great time. He's the anti-social dog up in the pontoon, like just watching. Would be in the water and he'd just be like... <laughs> He's just gonna be peering through, like, the fence, like, the, the little slits. He's gonna be watching everybody from his shade. I really don't want to keep him out here for too long. I mean, we were cruising around having a great time. Even with the shade, it's still kind of hot out here. And you guys know these guys are pretty pretty spoiled used to sitting inside all day in the AC on nice cold concrete floors So I think Coop's a little bit better especially because he can swim Coda can't swim So he's just kind of a hot mess right now Right Coda, what do you think should we try coming this way? What if we came in the water? Oh See this is a nicer beach than we have at our place. How deep can we go? We're not gonna be drinking it Come on eh, 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 eh. No drinking, eh, no drinking. Come on. Are you believing this right now? No drinking. Eh. He just wants to get down so his mouth is at water level so he can drink it even more efficiently. No drinking the lake water, that's not good for you, dude. It's not horrible for you, but it's not good for you. Stop, 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 stop. Goodness gracious, we cannot take you anywhere. All right, 
Let's get him loaded up and head home. Ugh. And you're gonna get his feeties? Oh, a geez. little bit. Okay. This is quite the process. Coda's like, dude, don't drip on me. <laughs> <laughs> good boy, Coop. Are we getting his feet too? Okay, hang on. All my this stuff one almost just. It's so much harder than Coop. <gasps> oh, hurry up, Chelsea. Okay. Sorry, Coda. Okay, it is what it is. Go for it. Uh, Good job, guys. Cooper, no. Oh, oh. <laughs> you, like, jumped the <laughs> Get me back to the house. <laughs> Things a little bit heavier than a jet ski. The Hulk. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> you almost just made Coda wipe out. Daddy's coming. He's coming. Don't worry. Coop, you guys are leaving without me. I'm never coming back. He's I'm very upset. He doesn't like okay. that. We know that from the swan. He does not like to be away from you. I'm living here, Coop. There he is. He made it. He made it, Coda. Yeah. Good boy. It's time to go home. The party's over. To go boys. home, Cooper, no. No, not swimming. Home. <laughs> he just really likes all the waves the engine makes. Sure. Hang in there, Coda. <laughs> No more swimming, Coop. Good boy. Don't move, Coda. You're not directly in the walkway or anything. It's cool. <laughs> All right, guys. It's been a great time, but I think it might be time to go to the AC and some lunch. I'm feeling some lunch. Let's Cooper see down. if uh, if offloading is as easy. Cooper, hey, get on the deck. Good boy. Coda, come on. Get off the, the scary moving boat. Coda, go. Go, Coda, go. Go, Coda, go. You got this. Go, Coda, go. Here. I'll literally guide you on there. Go for it. Good boy. Woo! Now if we can figure out how to do that the other way around, that's going to be perfect. <laughs> It's the next day, the camera ran out of battery, and honestly, we forgot to film an outro, so we hope you guys enjoyed. It was a really, really fun day. Cooper had a great time. Coda, I feel like kind of enjoyed it to an extent. He was able to get out there and, and see some new things he wasn't able to see before, so pretty cool stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed. We're definitely gonna have probably more Super Cooper Sundays in the future if we take the boat different places and stuff with the boys on it. And then of course, we are gonna have tons of vlogs over on the vlogging channel around the boat and stuff like that. So I'm really excited. Hopefully this is a good episode. Hope you guys really enjoyed it. We are gonna see you guys later. Peace out.